then transitioned off to a ketogenic diet, a diet that has very low carbohydrates and high, high uh, fats, like uh, mono, uh, uh, saturated fat and monounsaturated fat. Then they will, they will be able to pull their, uh, they will able to push their blood sugars down a little bit lower and bring up their ketones a little bit higher. And it's these states when the blood sugar is very low and the ketones are, are high within normal physiological conditions that the tumor cells have great, great difficulty in trying to survive, especially those that are dependent on glucose. Um, those that are dependent on glutamine can weather this therapeutic. They can weather this storm, this metabolic storm, because they're burning an alternative fuel. Um, so that's why therapeutic ketosis and ketogenic diets will be effective only up to a certain state uh, in managing cancer and will not uh, uh, kill those tumor cells that are actually transitioning to glutamine. This is why you have to do both. But if for the normal person, the person who doesn't have cancer or a person who would like to prevent cancer, uh, uh, as we said, these indolent tumor cells, if it hasn't blown up into a full-blown disease, can be killed uh, effectively by therapeutic ketosis because those, those tumor cells will be eliminated for the good of the whole uh, in transitioning away.